Hey, I'm Nathaniel, and you're watching Questions with Shopify Answers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Uh, so I'm from Cambridge, which is a little town close to Waterloo. Uh, I go to school down there, uh, first year, no, second year now, computer science. Uh, at Shopify, I am a Rails developer. So I basically write code and I fix stuff and I break stuff. Oh um, yeah. That's basically how it goes. <laughs> and sometimes we make more stuff, like we make new stuff. But usually we're fixing stuff that we broke. I thought that our code is like, Without the errors. Oh no, I <laughs> fix bugs in our code every day. Every day. Every day. So it's getting better and better. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> it's like new bugs are coming faster than we can fix them. Oh uh, yeah, that's all the time. Yeah. How old are you? How old am I? I'm 19. Oh, that's you're really, really young. I am. That's great. Second year university. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when you were a little kid, what did you want it to be when you grow up? Not a software developer. Uh, were you always excelling in school? Uh, no. Back in elementary school, I used to start shit a lot. I was like, I don't know, it was pretty boring. So, <laughs> I was always getting in trouble. Oh yeah. Um, and then in high school, I got my shit together. How did you earn your first money and what did you buy for those money? I guess it was in like grade 6 or grade 7. So I would have been like 12. I think. Uh, I had a newspaper route, maybe like six hours a week. I would go around delivering newspapers, uh, made about a hundred bucks a month, which That's isn't nice. that much. <laughs> it's a lot of money when you're 12, so yeah. it was awesome. Um, and then I spent all the money on pizza and Subway. What was the first thing you worked on as a developer? I got into uh, software development because uh, I used to play this online game called RuneScape. I don't know if you've heard of it. No, I um, It's just an online game. You play with a bunch of people, you uh -huh. level up, you get money, you do stuff. I was getting kind of bored with like the grindy parts of the game. Yes. So I decided I wanted to cheat. Um, so oh. I wrote bots that automated the boring parts so yeah. I could just like have fun doing the fun parts. And how did you get to Shopify? I was in my first year and basically I saw they were hiring. I applied, looked into the company and it seemed like a really cool company. Yeah. So uh, I worked pretty hard on, I guess, looking as good as I can to Shopify. Uh -huh. um, trying really hard to uh, get in and I ended up getting in. It's cool. It's an awesome company. Yeah, awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, where do you get like inspiration? Do you get in inspiration for also like writing the code and stuff? I don't know. I want to make things better. Uh, right now our code base isn't that good, uh, so I do, I work a lot on just trying to, like I want to leave here with things better than when I came. Yeah. So I, like, that's sort of my inspiration. That's really I also, nice. I don't know, I like making cool stuff. Um, a lot of the things, like it's kind of cool how I can make stuff here and mm -hmm. then after my internship I can like pull up Shopify and I can be like, hey I did that and mm -hmm. I made this better. Yeah, I did all this. Yeah, so, that's, that's like amazing feeling. Yeah. Uh, do you have a role model or like mentor? I mean, I have mentors like my leads that like mentor me uh, skill wise. Okay, so let's say that you're like uh, kind of mentors that are like your leads. So why do you admire them? Uh, well, they just know so much, uh, both like um, hard skills like tech programming, yada, yada, yada. They know a lot about that. I think uh, just by hanging around them mm -hmm. and talking to them, I can learn a lot. So that's pretty cool. And also um, just like soft skills, like communication and teamwork and stuff like that. You can tell that they've been in this business for a, a lot longer than I have because they're really good at it. And I don't think I'm there yet. So One I day. like learning from them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what were you doing before Shopify? Uh, I was at school. Okay. Eight months of school before here. Yeah. Got Computer it. science. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me uh, about a time where you like failed to achieve your goals. What did you learn from that experience? Oh man, this is like 
a question that interviews always ask. When did you break the when? Shopify? <laughs> <laughs> I've done that a few times. <laughs> no, I never, I always achieve my goal. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. I mean, I break things in Shopify a lot. So that is kind of an answer. It's not really not achieved my goal. So maybe if there were like any like fail at Shopify, how would you learn from that? At Shopify, we have kind of a mindset of moving fast and breaking shit. You've probably heard that before. Yeah. Sometimes like it's cool to have that mindset. You can move fast, iterate quickly, but you also have to be careful that you're not moving too fast and like breaking <laughs> too much shit. Yeah. Um, so I'm yeah, still trying to- like Balance? Yeah, I'm still trying to find that balance of like moving fast, but not going too fast and breaking <laughs> stuff. Cause I have broken stuff a few times. <laughs> no, no, not yet. I'm getting there. Are you punctual? Punctual. I don't know what that means. Usually, yeah. Uh, especially like for meetings that I schedule, I try not to be late. That's like pretty rude, I think. Because like, I don't know, you don't want to waste other people's time. It's true, definitely. And what's the most important thing that you learn in Shopify? Oh man, I've learned a lot. So like picking out one thing is pretty hard. I guess like again, when it comes to learning, uh, you have to split it up between the hard skills, like all the things that I've learned about tech and programming and mm -hmm. transferable skills like that. And then the soft skills. Um, as far as hard skills go, uh, before I came to Shopify, I hated Mac. Um, <laughs> like I wouldn't touch a Mac, I just hated them. Really? Why? And, uh, okay, so, well I've always been a Windows guy. Yeah. I have, like I've always had a Windows laptop. Okay. Um, and every Mac that I've used, it's just like, I don't like it. I don't know how to use it. Yeah. I've always used Windows. <laughs> um, but now that I've been using Mac here, it's just, I love it. I'm looking into buying a MacBook right now. They're great. So you wouldn't come back to Windows? No. I have a Windows uh, PC right now, or a laptop. I'm trying to sell it. I don't want it anymore. Oh. I don't want it. <laughs> so this is the most important thing that you want here, right? <laughs> it's one of the big ones. <laughs> it's definitely a big event in my life because I've always been super like pro Windows and anti-Mac. It's a big one. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> and what do you, you like to do in your free time? Uh, I like to read. Actually, that's a lie. I, I'm <laughs> trying to get into reading. Yeah. Like, I've not finished the book. <laughs> Same with me. Yeah. I don't know. I've been reading, like, a Linux textbook recently. It's kind of interesting. So, yeah, I do some reading sometimes, just, like, learning self-improvement. Uh, I play piano, so I'm trying to wow. get better at that. I also play some sports. I play soccer. I play ultimate. I climb. It's cool. Like every every evening, I have yeah. like Monday is piano night. Tuesday is climbing night. Wow. Every night, there's like something going on. That's awesome. You're a pretty busy person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when do you usually go to sleep and when do you wake up? I guess I'm kind of different than most people. I go to bed really early. Usually, maybe 11, 11.30 I'm in bed. Cool. And then I'm up around 6.30, 7. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. I like being up early. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's morning. a good thing. I'm trying to do the same. It's just sometimes yeah. hard to do. <laughs> it is. That's, that's why I've started going to bed earlier. Yeah. Because I know if I stay up late, I'm going to hate myself in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> I know that feeling. Yeah. But what's, what languages do you speak? And if there is any language you would learn, you would like to learn? So I was learning French until grade nine. And then uh, I decided I didn't like it and I stopped taking French. Okay. which is one of my huge regrets of high school. Really? I wish I did French. Because I think like it has its uses. It's kind of cool to be bilingual. You can understand other people better. Uh -huh. So going to your second question, the language I want to learn, I want to finish learning French. Okay. That's one of like my big goals. Yeah. Um, maybe also Spanish at some point, but I want to do French first. Do you have like, uh, I don't know, like motto or credo or like quotation that inspires you? No, I can't come up with that. I don't know. Like, I can come up with a quote made by me, but like, when. Yeah, oh, a quote made by me? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> That's. Yeah, so it's not I say I can come up with a quote made by me, and then I can't make a quote. Made by <laughs> me. Um, I don't know. I don't have a quote that I live by. Uh, I just try to kick ass. Hey, there's a quote. Okay. Just kick yeah. ass. Just That's kick it. Ass. Just two words. Kick yeah, ass. Just do it. Is there something or somebody that makes you really angry? Not a Shopify. I mean, there are people that I don't really like <laughs> because like some people have like attributes about them that just bother me. Uh -huh. But usually I try not to let that bother me because yeah. I don't know. I mean, you shouldn't let other people affect the way that you go about doing things, especially not in a negative way. Yeah, that's true. Um, 
I try not to be angry. It's, I don't know. It's hard. I don't, yeah. I try, I try to stick to positivity. Yeah, Which yeah, doesn't always work. That's a really good approach. Yeah. yeah. It has to be a Tesla. I love what Elon Musk is doing. And I think the idea of an electric car is pretty sweet. Yeah. Uh, Teslas look awesome and they drive themselves. Have you tried? No, not yet. You yeah. have uh, Your favorite movie? <laughs> and I don't know my favorite movie. Okay. I don't watch movies. It's no problem. Okay. I, That's fine. I have trouble sitting down for two hours watching a movie. Oh, okay. I just, I feel like I can be spending my time better. Better. I feel the same. Yeah. And I'm always like considered as the weirdest person in the room. <laughs> <laughs> If there's one thing that you will like recommend to people outside watching this show, what it will be? You do you. I don't know. Do your best to kick ass. Be happy. Don't let people get you down. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what are your plans for future? Ooh, future plans. Um, so I'm going back to school in, and then I'm hoping to go down to the valley, uh, San Francisco, California area for a co-op, like Google, Facebook, Ooh. hire me. So we'll see what happens with that. We'll send them the video. Thank you. Yeah, we'll uh, send it, attach my resume. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I want to move up tech companies. So I definitely want to broaden my horizons a bit. Um, yeah. Kind of see what else is out there so I can have something to compare to. Because yeah, like, Shopify one. is really, really cool, but right now I don't have anything to compare it to. So, how do I know that the grass isn't greener on the other side? Yeah, yeah. I don't think it is, but I have to find out. Yeah, definitely. So, that's my goal. Yeah. What will you do after you retire? Oh, I don't want to retire. <laughs> is like, I just had that week off in Cuba, yeah. and there were days where I wished I had my laptop and I could just do some coding. Really? Yeah, it's like, I just get bored. <laughs> um, I guess if I retire, um, even if I didn't have a job, I would have to have hobbies. Like maybe by the time I retire, I'll be a really good piano player so I can play piano. Yeah. Um, there's not really like a volunteer coding. That's not really a thing, but maybe I would still code, do little side projects. Do you want to greet someone that will leave any message? Your mom. Okay. Hi everybody. I hope you're having a great day. Baby, baby, baby.